what's going on my notary family today is tips on wednesday and today's tip we're going over debt consolidation i'll go through the whole packet with you and show you what it's like cue the intro okay so um debt consolidations usually only take 30 minutes one for 80 so i haven't done a lot um i've done maybe five but anyway this one the good thing about these is that you only need to print one copy you only do scan backs and you just shred it after a couple weeks so that's good so this one printed out in two sections the first section with, and also it's not that many pages. It's not that many pages. I don't know, maybe 60 or something. But anyway, the first section goes over introduction, what's a debt consolidation, what the, everyone's process, and the, the signer would either sign all of them or initial all of them. In this case, this was sign all of them. All right, so first we'd go over the presentation and he would sign every page. So obviously I can't show you. First one is just cover page. Let me put that down. I think it's time to shred these documents. I got to go back and check. So you're supposed to hold on for like 10 days. And I think it's been two weeks. So it's probably time to shred them. Because they haven't sent me any emails about anything. So I, everything's probably cool. In-person presentation. So there is something you, you would say to them. Yeah, something you say to them, and um, it will go like this. You know, my name is Aaron. I'm representing, uh, I'm representative of Century Law Firm. I've done a couple of them for them. I don't get these often, maybe once a month. Uh, my job today is to tell you more about Century's debt resolution program. Um, before we begin, I understand I'm not, a I'm not an attorney. I can't provide legal advice. Uh, if you choose to sign enrollment docs today, um, they'll contact you in a few days. Make yourself available to speak. And that's it. He just signed that. The first page is simple. He just, what, is, what is debt resolution? Sign it. Debt resolution process. Sign it. Okay. Next one says we, not, we notify your creditors. Sign it. Special purpose savings account. Sign it. So they make a... This is to explain what a special purpose savings account is. Has your personal checking account. And next, an automatic monthly payment is made from your personal account to your your savings account, your uh, your debt payment account, kind of like how escrow does the their side. That's what this. You got to make a special account for the um, Reliant Account Management. That's what they called it, a RAM account. So you got your personal account going to your RAM account and law firm fees are paid from your RAM account on your authorization settlements are paid out of your RAM account. OK, so that's the process, how it works. You get your bank account and then the money goes into the RAM account and the RAM account pays the law firm and your your debt. OK, then they just sign that negotiate negotiation and debt solution strategy. I mean, you just present the title. It's telling you everything what it, is, what it is. And they assign it. What you need to know. So this one, you can pick out two things and say, you know, what you need to know. It goes over. Um, law firm cannot stop interest penalties. Your credit score will likely be impacted. Okay. And you sign it. Litigation support services. Okay. Sign it. If, if circumstances change. Okay. Sign it. Once you become our client, this is what happens next. Client services support uh you get a welcome call and an orientation package all right so i'll just read it boom 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 just read that that's it um letter of engagement this one goes over that letter of engagement they can read that and sign it and letter of engagement continued goes over retainer fee uh monthly fee and service costs okay there is a flat fee of enrolling in the program and another letter of engagement and this one is just a list of documents to be signed today. Special purpose account and financial information. 
thing. They can just glance over that or read the word for word if they would like. Okay, special purpose savings account and financial information. Here's a continue form and sign that. All right. So this one was out of order. And this one he doesn't sign. This second one. So this first page, this one has his information here, so I can't show this. First page says client debt plan. And so it has the debt amount, um, duration of the program, the monthly payments, and the payments will start on this date, a specific date, and then they would sign and date that. Okay, next is power of attorney. We all know what that's for. And this is the one they would fill out their information, execute it on, the date, their signature, um, state of, county of. You would notarize this one and um, personally appeared and have produced driver's license as identification. Then you would sign, date, and stamp that one. And there is an acknowledgement that I attached separately because it did not have the notary wording in the box on this first page. So I had to, I had to attach an acknowledgement. And there's another power of attorney form. So we just filled all that out. Uh, confirmation of meeting prior to engagement. So this one is just him signing that I came on this date. That's it. So this one goes over. His next page goes over letter of engagement. Um, he just would initial and it talks about uh, flat free retainer, a flat fee retainer. Okay, scope of engagement. Condition and effectiveness, fees and costs, flat fees, litigation costs, general information. There's another page where we initial and he initials everywhere and then sign on the last one. So this is just general information going over the process. And there's another one he would sign and then he would sign an initial. Okay. And then this last one, he would date an initial. Okay. So letter of engagement, just going over the process. Notice the right to cancel. A they don't sign this one unless they want to cancel then they would sign um disclosure and election of services okay we would let's go bankruptcy and debt negotiation let's go over bankruptcy debt negotiation then he would sign and date the last page so that's that electronic funds authorization this one, he fills out his name, address, uh, bank phone number, routing and account number, because they need to be able to take that money out, put it into the, the, is it RAM, the RAM account, and then use that to make payments. So it, it got to be automatic. So he fills out his bank stuff here. Um, hardship and budget analysis. This one he doesn't sign, but it just has how much. He makes how much he's going to pay. Um, there's a payment schedule. We know that one. This one, they would just sign and date. Um, creditor listing. So this one has a list of uh, what he owes to different creditors and how much. So this one, he would sign and date. There's a settlement pre-authorization form, which he would sign and date. And shall make reasonable efforts to attain clients approval for any settlement of clients on um, behalf of any event that cannot contact a reasonable client's interest in and proceed with any settlement to understand 50% or more enrolled debt. Oh, okay. So they'll do it on their own if they can't contact him. They'll do it 50% or more if that's, that's their goal. Uh, this form may be revoked by a client at any time upon written. Okay, this one here, sign and date. Print, sign and date. Uh, communications authorization. You can confirm that phone numbers provided are yours. You can send to receive emails and text messages. This one's just an initial. Uh, dedicated account agreement. All right, first page is information going over the RAM fee and the monthly fee for having that because they charge. They do save you, but they do charge you. All right, and dedicated account application. This is another one where you confirm his information at the top. Um, and then there's a banking information section. And then it has his first draft amount, his uh, first draft date, the bank name, the city, uh, routing number, 
whether it's checking or saving his name and sign and date okay and this next one is affidavit of compliance and there's two more um so your name goes at the top i fill in the blank as an attorney paralegal notary or representative okay saying that you personally appeared the signer um then you would scroll down here i affirm that the above statements are true and accurate company representative print name that's you company representative sign that's you provide date that this page has been signed and the date and then this position with century or with the company you know they have attorney paralegal notary circle one so you circle notary executed in client's presence yes acknowledgement by client so then he would sign print sign initial date okay saying that you filled this out and the last one is confirmation of face-to-face -face meeting um you just write down the information provide the name of the attendees um the time duration of the meeting 30 minutes location of the meeting executed on this date then you print and sign so that is debt consolidation it's not that bad smooth process not that bad not that bad so now you know how to do it so if you get debt consolidations take it because it doesn't take that long to do you only have to print one copy you don't have to go to fedex you just hold on to it and shred it after you're done so that's that consolidation i love you my notary family let's go